Good morning and welcome back to another video and today is another day of the Zero to Gold Cap Challenge. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay, so for today we have been farming up <gasps> nothing in particular, just raw gold. Uh, I have been alluding to this for a little while and I wanted to test this one out. This one was actually proposed to me by one of my Discord subs and this is where we do the LFR of WAD. Now, the LFR of WAD is a way in which you can actually farm up raw gold each and every week per character. Now, this will require you to have a level two garrison. Obviously, I have a level three garrison, but if you just have a basic character, then go with a level two because you want this guy to actually show up, which is Sia Kazal. And he is the Shadow Moon Exile, which, once clicked on, will allow you to go into any of the looking for raids for WAD. Now, what you actually have to do is basically do every single one of these, and it will net you in a load of raw gold. Now, for instance, if you're going to actually do this, I actually saved the last one because we're going to finish this off together. And that is the Fall of Archimond and at the Black Gate. So we're just going to queue up for it. So... Yeah, we're just gonna basically do it and it will pop and all you have to do is just go in with your character. Now, what you have to do is just kill all the bosses. I don't really actually bother killing any of the trash when it comes to any of these different types of raids because most of the WAD raids don't drop any amazing loot. But what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go into our cat form and we're just basically going to kill all of these guys. So just give them a nice little swipe here and there and just take on Archimond. So basically it's pretty much tank and spank. You're not really gonna die of any of these mechanics. See Archimond's dead and the lovely little cinematic's gonna happen. Nope, I don't want that because we're just going to loot him and then what you have to do is you get a load of different types of epics from all of the bosses and just vend them straight off the bat, leaving you with your raw gold. Now obviously you get about 25 gold per boss and what you can then do is just then teleport out of the dungeon and go into the next one. Now for this, it doesn't take that long in order to do. It took me around about 47 minutes in order to clear this, so less than an hour to gain 5,898 raw gold as I zeroed my bags for doing this. Now, obviously, if I did the entire thing off an entire run through, that would take a hell of a long time to, in order to do. So obviously I saved a couple moving forward. But aside from that, it takes you around about 47 minutes. The only one that really takes the longest is High Mall because of all of the dialogue, but you still get a hefty amount of gold overall. And if you have a load of different types of alt, this can surely stack up. This is a once a week thing, so we have to wait for the lockout now as we've officially done it. So it would reset on Wednesday for me for all of my looking for raids for the WAD raids, so to speak. So 5,898 gold. I'm actually going to turn it into a My Farms. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to press reset on this and we're just gonna say Lunar Fall is the location because this is where this is where you go to queue up for the looking for raids. And basically all, all I've got to do now is just create the actual group. So we're gonna say 60 minutes because if it's not at 60 minutes, it will just add the additional on for creating the actual farm. So if I said 57 minutes at 5,898 raw gold, it will then add the remaining on for, to round it up to that hour. So just something to bear in mind when you're actually creating these types of recorder groups that if it was the hour for a lockout, then make it 60 minutes for that. But aside from that, let's just add the raw gold in to the, which is 5,898 raw gold, and then add the silver in, which is 87 silver. You don't really need to do this, but I'm doing this because it's gonna bug me if I don't. So there's our raw gold that we actually got and we'll just say WAD LFR, LFR Dalla GG, uh, because I like to sign it off with my name. And we'll save that to our recorder 
and then I can now export that in my thing. So when I go into my farms, it will now show what LFR dollar GG and 5,898 gold. And obviously it's not gonna have sell rate because it's just a raw gold farm. And then all I have to do is jump back into the recorder and then I can export it. So now I can then post that into the into the Discord, which you guys can then import into your own worth it add-on things. So that's basically the farm for the day. So what we're so I fancy doing a little bit different of just doing raw gold. So we're just going to send that gold over right now. Now I will just send over one thousand uh, five thousand eight hundred gold as opposed to all of the others. So it's going to round up to a nice amount. So I still got a little bit of gold for like flight masters and all that jazz. So I'm not gonna bankrupt my own character going forward. So open up my cache for 500 resources. So that's pretty okay. And then that being the case, that is basically the farm for the day. Aside from that guys, let's get into the gold for the day. Okay, so the gold for the day is a healthy amount with our extra 5,800 gold is 64,377 gold. Now, aside from that, that the things that are of note besides this is we sold 66 fell iron ore for 1,088 gold. We also sold the 93 anchor weed for 5,483 gold and 1,068 dream leaf for 14,833 gold, not bad for half an hour. And then we also sold a glyph of autumn, autumnal bloom, autumn, autumn, you get the point, uh, 2,849 gold for that. Now, the other things of note is the glyph of cracked ice, two of those for 1,899 gold. Storm Silver Ore, 101 of those for 1,518 gold. And Sea Stalk, 257 of that for 1,242 gold, along with 566 Star Moss for 2,957 gold. We also sold 21 Titanium Bars for 3,398 gold, and a three Glyphs of the Spectral Raptor for 3,653 gold and a uncanny combatant's mittens of the quick blade for 1310 gold another thing of note damn we sold quite a bit of random stuff today is greater flask of vast horizon 10 of those for 4655 gold and a comfortable rider's barding two of those for 1393 gold the enchant weapon of deadly navigation seven of those for 1496 gold and 487 Yes Reliant Seeds for 1,857 gold. And that brings it up to about 16,000 gold for that half an hour for the Dreamleaf farm, because that's all of our Yes Reliant and Dreamleaf sold already. And that's pretty damn fast sell rates, if I do say so myself. We also sold 540 Akunda's Bite for 2,329 gold. And we also gained a little G that was my zeroing off, which is 306 gold. But aside from that, 64,377 gold in our bags. So let's pull all of that gold in. Now, aside from that, that seems to be doing quite well. We sold the majority of our anchor weed that we farmed up yesterday. And we also farmed, and we also sold our dream leaf, which we actually got in about half an hour. So I'm probably gonna double down on that, to be honest. And we're cut, sat at a comfortable 598,880 gold overall. So basically we just have another good day and we should be golden, so to speak. But that being the case, that is basically the raw gold farm. As many characters as you can get it on. I have nine on this realm at this moment in time. So if we went with 5,800 gold, we times that by nine characters, that's 52,200 gold per week. Obviously, bear in mind that is 47 minutes worth of your time to see if it's actually viable for yourself, but it's a very quick way in order to make some decent raw gold without the auction house. Other than that, guys, have a lovely rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow.